What in the world do I see over here? Guys, these stores are just getting better and better and better and better and better and better and better. And better. Holy crap, guys. We are in, where in the heck are we? Fort Wayne, Indiana. I can't even keep it straight. And look at the size of this Spirit Halloween back here. This place is awesome. This could very well be the most awesome looking Spirit Halloween I have ever seen. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this used to be a Pier 1. What really sticks out to me so much about this store is that look at all the signage on it. You have two sides completely covered with signs, a giant one on the front, and if we back up here, you can see there's also a giant one on the side. Some stores barely have the front sign the size of one of those little panels there. That is too hilarious. Okay, guys, I can't even tell. Like, I think... This looks like the front of the Spirit Halloween, but this one back here on the side looks like where you're supposed to go in, because I don't see any doors to go in on this side. Yeah, this is definitely the doors to go in. I am so excited to see what they have at Fort Wayne, Indiana. Holy crap, it looks totally awesome in here. They have so many animatronics. I'm just gonna go off. Holy crap, look at this lineup over here, guys. We are gonna check out each and every one of those in just a second here. But let's start with the Monster Laboratory. We'll come back to the guys on the side. I wanna see, oh my gosh, they don't have Crouchy, but this is what I thought. I knew I heard Mr. Bottomless in here. All right, get going for us here. I hear ya, okay. I gotta say right off the bat, I'm really surprised with how awesome the store is that they don't have the bubbles of death going. What the heck is going on in this laboratory? Okay, then we got Barry over here. Let's see if we can get him going. Come on now. Barry's banging his head. I would be banging my head too if I had to listen to that all day. Strange, there's no speaker in the hole. <laughs> But it appears that our monitor is working correctly up here. Hello, Jack. All right, let's leave some stickers for Barry. Okay. Let's leave some for Mr. Bottomless. And let's go ahead out here and see what they have set up around the sides. Look at this. We have Lord Farquaad on the back of the display. This is so very strange. Okay, stickers for Lord Farquaad. And then we'll get him going, I think. Are you going to do something for us? There you go. Yes, I've left the stickers at your feet, Lord Raven. And beside him, we have Bubba. Let's get him going. Come on, Bubba. There he is. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Couple stickers for you. Let's get Mr. Grimm going here. Oh, he's starting with a different phrase. He's pretty loud in this store. I love that. I love that when all the animatronics are loud. Couple of stickers for Mr. Grimm. There you go. All right, let's go on over here and check out the bog zombie. He's already rolling. He's not very loud, but he is awesome. That mark on his head up there kind of reminds me of Freddy Krueger. All right, guys, and then as we circle around this side, we have Monty. And he is acting like a fool. All right, look at all this, guys. Let's begin to check it out. Starting at the beginning, we have a couple of sitting scarecrows for $99. We have two bog zombies for $249. Then around the side here, we have a Lord Raven and another Lord Raven and another Lord Raven. And as we turn around, look at this. There are three Mr. Darks here. Holy crap, I can't believe it. $279 for that fellow. We have two Montes in stock. And on the other side, we have three Sinister Spirit Dolls. Holy crap, look at this, guys. We have one, two, three nozzles. And then over here, look at this. We actually have a buzzsaw at this store. 
And on the end, we have one, two, three bag of bones, complete with about a hundred jumping spiders behind him. I'm really getting excited to see the stores getting stocked up better, guys. I think we have more over here. Yes, here's a stack. Let's see, we got some stuffed dummy props. We have the fogging skull pile down here. Here we go, we got three Grims right here. Whoa, and on the other side we have two Reaper greeters. I haven't seen this guy in too many stores. <laughs> that guy is awesome. Okay, before we do anything else, let's come on over here. We're gonna come down to where Scream and Ghostface should be. And crap. Okay, they have a whole bunch of ghost face stuff here just so that they won't have it empty. They have some costumes. They have the crossbody bag. Okay. We got socks. We got patches. And the hanging ghost face. But I don't see any of the new masks in there just yet. And wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have more things stacked up here. A bunch of pose and stay skeletons. And right around the corner from them, we have two night crawlers. This store has got it going on. Look what in the world. We have a Binks Union suit. This is the coolest ever. It's a one piece with a hat and it says Binks on it. That is awesome. And look at this shirt, guys. I haven't seen this in any other stores. Come, we fly. What in the world is this? I have never seen this before. Look at this, guys. Holy crap, what in the world? It's Sam with the alternate head and his sucker, and it's like a plush. Does he talk? I don't think he talks. I don't think he makes any noise, but man, that is awesome. I don't even know if I've seen this one before. This is bigger than the plushes that I've seen in here before. What in the world do I see over here? Guys, these stores are just getting better and better and better and better and better and better and better. What in the heck? Look at this, guys. We have a vampire door knocker and a devil door knocker. It's knocking. It's almost feeding time for me. All right, let's see what this guy does. Oh my gosh. Okay, that guy's creepy. They all started going ballistic as soon as I pushed the button. Everything in this store so far is awesome, but this music's gotta go. We need Halloween music in Spirit Halloween. All right, look at this, guys. We have a whole bunch of Chucky's Good Guys dolls. We got two Annabelles up here and two Sitting Sam dolls there. Holy crap, we got the Sandworm Groundbreaker over here. What in the world is this guy? Oh, holy crap. It just keeps getting better and better and better. Look at this. I have never seen the creepy baby doll in any stores. <laughs> oh, his eyes light up. The music's too loud to hear what he's saying. Whoa, he went from talking like a baby to laughing like a demon. That totally reminds me of the rising creepy doll. Okay, we also have Eerie Emma, and we have Decrepit Donna, and we have Hugs the Clown, and we have Pumpkin Nestor. I'm so glad he started showing up in stores. Oh yeah, we got four burrito bit. What in the world is this? Check out the big brain on Brad. What in the world? Is it a brain or is it like a stomach? Is that maybe it's, oh my God, it's intestines. It's not even brain. That's disgusting. Would you trade your brain for some intestines? Oh my gosh, I just got myself sicked out. Totally sicked out. <laughs> okay, no more eating intestines. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh my God, all right, zombie babies, you are on your own, I'm out of here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost puked over that. I could look at stuff like this all day long and not puke, but show me an intestine. So nasty. All right, let's look at the inflatables here. Holy crap, that was crazy. All right, we have just pretty much what we see in the other stores as far as the inflatables go. The scary clown archway, the ghost, jack-o'-lantern archway, the reaper, the cat, the jack-o'-lantern stack, and the haunted tree. Oh, and they have the tombstone down here too. Thank God they don't have an inflatable intestine. Whoa, but they do have the bumpy, spooky pumpkin pathway markers. Let's check them out. Holy crap, those are awesome. Look, they're green, guys. These pumpkins are green. Oh my gosh, and they have three Frankenstein sidesteppers, none of which are turned on. 
more sitting scarecrows, more sinister spirit dolls, more posable skeletons, and of course they have a whole bunch of the empty soul girl on a swing. Somebody come by an empty soul girl, give her a friend. Whoa, what in the world is this? Holy crap, it's a vintage gizmo costume. That is awesome. And right above it is a vintage Superman costume. Guys, back in the 70s and 80s, this is the kind of costume we had. You wore that on your face and the plastic cut you all to pieces. It was awesome. <laughs> Look at this, they have the Danny Pops. Oh, Danny girl, the Pops, the Pops are calling. Oh, holy crap. Look, we have two little skelly bones. They just have these animatronics scattered all around the store. It's so cool and so awesome. Oh my gosh. Look at these guys, Pokemon costumes. Here's a Charizard. That is so cool. <laughs> In a Grookey Ostempa. I don't even know what that one is. And then we have a Bulbasaur costume. Score Bunny Flambino. I don't even know what half these are. Eevee Evoli. And one more, it's called Sobble Larmelion. What in the world? And look at this marshmallow one. It's like a it's like a marshmallow vampire complete with a cape. And I've never seen the Fortnite punk before. That's cool with a pumpkin head. Oh, and here's the jersey that a lot of people have been looking for. This is actually a kid's size. But how cool is that? I would wear that any second of any day, of any week, of any year. And here's the Danny Dennison costume, which is a new one I've been seeing in stores. That is really awesome. Oh my gosh, they just have so much stuff in this store that I haven't seen yet. I'm so glad these stores are starting to get stocked up. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. Look, it's a Pennywise outfit for your dog and a Sam outfit for your dog. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at what I've spied on the bottom here. Guys, it's adult size jerseys. Holy crap, I know they don't have my size, but they might have yours. Get down here and get them before they're sold out. All right, look at this. They have medium, large, extra large, a couple of each. Look at this. They also have the Killer Clowns snow globe. Let's see if he does anything different. Guys, you tell me, is he supposed to do more than just spin around like that? I would think he's gonna light up and the stuff is gonna, like the glitter's supposed to, I don't know. But anyways, they have the popcorn clown statue too. I know a lot of people have been looking for that. All right, before we go, let's leave some stickers in the pot. All right, guys, that was awesome. That was probably the best spirit Halloween I've been in this year next to the flagship store and maybe even better than the flagship store because I saw more in there than I saw at the flagship store. Mm -hmm.